Here comes Disney Plus, you're gonna boot it up, and you're not gonna get any advertisements for anything else. Except now you are, because Disney had to bend the knee to one of their competitors in order to deliver more content that Disney owns, but they don't own. That's just kind of how Hollywood is. Isn't that how it is? Okay, so what's happening? So I will link it in the description down below. This one is coming from The Verge. I'm not sure if they were the first ones to report it or if this is just the first one I saw, but essentially Disney had to cave and specifically this is for Star Wars, but there's more stuff that's out there for some of the other franchises, but mostly they had to cave for Star Wars because if you want the entire Star Wars catalog on Disney Plus, you weren't gonna get it on day one. That wasn't gonna happen. And um, why is this? Well, if you follow along and you read that article, you're gonna realize that Stars had exclusive streaming rights to certain Star Wars films. Now, these things were in motion for years now. There's certain things that have been in motion for like 10 years, and certain things weren't gonna expire for Star Wars till 2024, and some are even reportedly expiring later. So how did Disney decide to proceed? Well they reached out to stars and they were able to sit down and work out an agreement. So on Disney Plus you will see advertisements that are telling you to check out stars. Now some people have already kind of um, overblown this. You're never going to be watching a movie and then an advertisement pops up in the middle saying watch stars now click this button to subscribe. That's not what's happening. Uh, what they're doing is you're watching a movie. Let's say you go to The Force Awakens which is the one that stars had exclusive streaming rights to and you go to it you're gonna see a little stars thing because they have the streaming rights to it but due to this deal Disney's now gonna advertise stars on there for a certain duration of time so they can provide that movie on their service and again this is just something that's kind of common it happens uh, there's a lot of contracts out there that are very weird and this is how they've been um you know like assigned and a lot of these things were in motion before streaming services were even a idea at some of these companies like Disney, for example, right? And if they knew that they were gonna be doing Disney Plus like six years ago, hell, even like four years ago, they would not have done this, but they didn't have that foresight and they didn't see how it was gonna go. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And honestly, it's not much that's lost. I mean, you're gonna get a small little you know, banner on the side of a screen that tells you. So it's pretty good, all things considered, that you'll be able to boot up Disney Plus and watch everything Star Wars. Yes, including Solo. Solo was part of that too, so you should all watch Solo. I know people are probably like, I'm bypass it, but you should probably watch it. You should really watch that movie.